Are our hearts knit together in unity and in love? Narrated and adapted from multiple sources by Brother Frank Natoli. The giant sequoia redwood trees located in California are some of the largest and longest surviving organisms in the world. The General Sherman tree is 275 feet tall, 100 feet in circumference, and 25 feet wide, and known to be the largest tree on earth by volume, and is approximately 2,500 years old. That's before the birth of Jesus. One would think that a 275 foot tall tree would need deep roots, but that's not the case at all with the sequoia redwood trees. Their root systems are relatively shallow. There's no tap root to anchor them deep into the earth. The roots actually only go down about 10 feet, and yet these trees rarely fall over. They withstand strong winds, earthquakes, fires, storms, and prolonged flooding. How can something up to 500 tons reaching over 275 feet in height and live for many centuries remain standing with roots only going down about 10 feet? These shallow roots, which rarely reach more than 15 feet in depth, reach sideways and seek roots of other redwood trees. When they meet other roots, they intertwine and make a bond, interconnected, supportive, dependent, interlocking with each other and holding each other up, with each tree giving support to each other. More trees, greater strength. In other words, we must create powerful, interlocking, unified systems to make a powerful difference. You might imagine a sermon from this natural example, and you'd be right to think so. You see, these redwoods illustrate an amazing analogy. Just like their root system, our roots extend in different directions. Our roots anchor us against life storms. They feed us and they sustain us. Our strength comes in our willingness to care and support in each other. So underneath the surface of these huge superstructures stands these interlocking roots like an army of soldiers who have their arms intertwined, literally holding and supporting each other. These redwood trees do not compete with each other for resources. Rather, their huge root systems fuse together and they share resources. The trees grow very close together and are dependent on each other for nutrients as well. Only redwoods have the strength and ability to support other redwoods. So beneath the surface of these humongous, tall, statuesque trees are simple roots that serve like an army to prevent the adversary of life from knocking each other down. What happens if you cut down a redwood tree? Not only are the trees that you cut down destroyed, but other redwoods that remain around, that were once dependent on it, often die. Without the missing tree to share water and nutrients, the remaining members become less healthy and sometimes struggle to even survive. Let's take this analogy and simply apply it to our own root system. Am I worthy of being compared to a sequoia? If I'm unsure, maybe I should try extending myself to others more often. Try breaking down the walls that often separate us. Try resolving contentions rather than creating them. Try looking for what I have in common rather than at the differences. Try showing greater love towards one another. And finally, try fulfilling the words of Alma, who, quote, commanded them that there should be no contention one with another, but that they should look forward with one eye, having one faith and one baptism, having their hearts knit together in unity and in love one towards another. Mosiah chapter 18, verse 21. May God bless you.